hear something? And do you think it's others? Damn it. Others are everywhere. We'll never make it to the exit. Can you make it out of the hospital by yourself, Luca? No. Teleporting is too dangerous in areas where there are this many others. Calm down. If Wataru doesn't have the data either, I have to rely on my own memories for the route to the exit. My memories... Can I even trust my own memories? I wasn't paying attention either. Sorry. And thanks. Sure thing. More importantly... Others are coming this way. Let's take them on! The liquid on this other's back seems to be oil. The smell is... unique. Is really gross. Can you do something about it? Hey, let's go. The oil is making me sluggish. Here we go. I need to 
toward the injured. I'm sorry, everyone. Come on. Support the down member. A member is in danger. That must be its weak spot. What? That was close. Regroup. Time to use this. I need to support the injured. That's big oil is making me sluggish. Damn you, Rico! Managed to take it down. Is everyone okay? Others are gathering. Damn it! Why are there so many others? Wataru, Sugumi, are there any safe spots nearby? As I've said before, there's absolutely no data on this old building. Sorry. There are others everywhere. What? this there you are major general fubuki everyone come with me we'll lose those others by following the underground highway through the ruins of lokusho city um where are we is this a safe zone safe zone what is that a blind spot in New Himuka's surveillance system. We call it the safe zone. We'll be able to talk here freely. We could talk outside of the city, but we don't want to be seen by any patrolling OSF members. I never knew about this. If you want to talk here, that must mean it's something you don't want the government to know. I suppose it does. Had I known sooner that you were going to OSF Hospital, I might have been able to scheme better. You must have known what kind of place the OSF hospital was. Yes. Seems like you didn't hear anything about it. They conduct power research at that hospital, funded by the New Himuka government. They draw out stronger powers by tuning the human cerebrum. I had no idea they were doing such things at my uncle's hospital. Oh, right. That hospital belongs to the Ichijo family. Listen, what I'm about to say may be hard for you to hear. As a result of the cerebral research conducted there, a number of byproducts were created. Personality rehabilitation. Yes. They tune the brains of people who are problematic for the government, pacifying them by brainwashing. The government found out that Nagi witnessed Naomi being metamorphosed, so that's why he ended up that way. What? But Gemma Kasane and I saw the same thing! You were all protected under the pretense that I would be monitoring you. But Nagi was captured by the government before I could help him. I'm sorry. If only I'd been able to get a hold on the information sooner. Um, what do you mean Naomi was metamorphosed? I thought she was killed in action. Uh. I see. Naomi wasn't killed in action. She turned into another. Are you really saying that she turned into another? Nagi said something similar, but is that even possible? That's a byproduct of New Himuka's research as well. A special material is able to turn organisms into others. Any organism with a brain can be turned into an other. Wait. Then does that mean it was the government that turned Naomi into an other? Yes. I'd love to sit here and tell you everything, but staying in the city is dangerous. Most likely, the government has already given the order to hand you over to them. I want you all to go out and patrol. I'll do what I can to take care of everything while you're out. Hold on. How is it that you haven't been subjected to rehabilitation despite knowing all of this? It seems like Luca knew too. Right. That's why Luca wanted to prioritize escaping rather than talk to Nagi. It's simple. I'm one of the government's dogs. Luca should have heard some of this from Karin. 
If you're curious, ask him. Yes. We should go out on patrol. I'll tell you what my brother told me along the way. Yuito, can you please direct us where to go? All right. Let's head to Kikuchiba. Hmm. The resource reading is close. Should we get it? This place is too exposed. We should go somewhere more private. You're on patrol, so make sure you take out those others. Yuito, my power may be helpful.
This area should be safe enough to talk. Is it true that the new Himuka government was transforming people into others? Yes, it was a long time ago. But Fabuki's fiance, Alice Ichijo, was also metamorphosed. My brother and Fabuki began investigating the cause of Alice's metamorphosis. The case led them to find out about new Himuka's personality rehabilitation, metamorphosis technology, and the surveillance systems of each city. Excuse me, do you mean my Aunt Alice? That's right, she was your aunt. Have you heard anything? No. I was told she joined OSF and planned to leave when she turned 20, but she was killed in the line of duty. That's why my family was in such strong opposition to me being scouted. But since we're legally unable to refuse... Hey, I found the file on Alice Ichijo in the database. She looks exactly like Hanabi. Alice was the daughter of OSF Hospital's previous chairman. That's why she was engaged to Spring Pharmaceuticals Major General Fubuki. I think that's true. It's the first I've heard this, but it seems plausible. If this was a plan led by the new Himuka government, does that mean my father knew about it? Oh. I think he did. Moreover, it might be better to assume that he was at the center of it all. The Sumeragi family has a long history in politics, after all. Then does my brother know about it too? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark? Yurito, Kasane is coming. Eight o'clock. <laughs> Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. Sorry. If you're trying to cure you in town, I'll do everything to stop you. I just wanted to stay out of this. Fine. Can you please calm down, Sugumi? Where are you? Kasane is out for blood. She may kill us if we don't give it our own. I didn't trust Seto and that got him killed. I won't make the same mistake twice. I'm going to stop Kasane. Sorry. Yuito, we should defeat them one by one. Let's nullify the other two, and then Kasane. Yes, my power? Go, Yuito! Still fight. Oh, sorry. Someone's in trouble. Pay attention. Oh, oh, Yuito, a member down. Go support. Let's get 
stronger. By any means. <laughs> Kasane, tell me! Why did you kill my father and join Seiron? <sighs> Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because New Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Hey, Kodama's coming! What? What is she doing here? Master Yuito! Kodama is here! Huh? Uh, wait, Kasane! Oh, that traitor Kasane is here too? That's fine. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Yuito. I'm Kodama Malone. I believe this is our first time meeting as well. Oh, you're right! But I'm only loyal to Master Yuito. What? Oh, Master Yuito, I have a message from Master Fubuki. He's taking care of everything, so you can come back now. So, are you on our side, Kodama? on your side, Master Yuito. Officially, my position may be the leader of Kodama Platoon and Major General Kabuki's aide, but my heart will always belong to you, Master Yuito. You could have just contacted us instead of coming all the way out here, Kodama. 
Maybe no one trusts you, Wataru. I mean, your sister went to Seiron after all. Shut up. Don't group me in with Haruka. And it wasn't just to deliver a message. I had to give this to you, too. What is it? Your medicine that was discarded at the OSF hospital. Oh. Is that okay? I don't mean to offend my uncle, but isn't it dangerous to take meds from the OSF hospital? Hanabi, and this goes for the rest of you as well, but it's in your best interests not to talk about or criticize the hospital in Suo. I'm sure you know why. Because the government is monitoring everyone. Exactly. Well, I'll be going back now. See you later, Master Yuito. Huh? This ampule? It's the same as the one I found in the abandoned underground subway. Why don't we stop by the hideout before returning to Suo, to go over everything we learned? We won't have to worry about anyone listening there. And don't worry. Recording conversation data through my control system isn't allowed. Now that I think about it, Major General Fubuki probably prohibited recording in order to protect the OSF after he learned the truth about the government. Yeah, maybe. So much has happened. It feels like my brain is fried. Let's go over our situation first. Research on powers is being conducted at the old Ichijo OSF hospital building. It's likely they progressed in the research of the brain, gained the ability to turn people into others, and perform personality rehabilitation. Yes. You can't blame yourself. You didn't know about any of this. Yes. You are so kind to everyone. So, I think you should be kind to yourself, too. Thank you. Moving on. The government is well aware that we've come to know this information. Major General Fubuki is trying to put out the fires, but it would be best to consider the possibility that we will become fugitives from the government. Anyone on the run from the government won't survive. Wait, there's Seiron. Yes, worst case scenario, we should consider fleeing to Seiron. And Yuito, how has your memory been? I haven't had any missing gaps in my memory recently, I think. If anything strange happens, please let us know. Although, concerning that medication you were prescribed... It was prescribed by the OSF hospital. It kinda scares me. Yes, I'm concerned as well. Right. I think it would probably be best to avoid taking it. Unless your condition significantly worsens. You're right. I'll do that. Hey. Do you think it would be a good idea to ask my brother about this? Oh yeah, Chief Sumeragi is your older brother. I would advise against it. The Chief is with the government, after all. Of course, he is also your family. But any unnecessary contact would be dangerous right now. I wouldn't want to hinder Major General Fubuki in any way. <sighs> yes, you're right. Kaito. Were you aware of Nuhimuka's power experiments? Did Dad and Kaito do that to Nagi? Damn it! The only one that was left in the dark... was me. Only me. I shouldn't have interfered. No, you're always so level-headed and helpful. Don't be afraid to tell me what you think. Understood. Oh, was that in order? Uh, <laughs> yeah.
country is turning people into others. And my father and brother are in on it too? I don't know who they really are. Maybe I'm the only one who doesn't know anything. something to talk to Gemma about? ask you something? Yes, I will answer if I can. Oh, is it about my brother? Uh, you mean former Major General Karn? No, not that. I wanted to ask you about yourself. We're fighting together now, so I wanted to know more about you. Ah, uh, about me? Did I say something wrong? No, I was merely surprised. People mostly ask about my brother, so I don't usually talk about myself. Your brother is Karin, after all. Yes, for better or worse, most people notice him. I am frequently in his shadow. So I tend to assume people want to talk about him. I apologize. Don't worry about it. I kind of understand how you feel. My older brother isn't like former Major General Karin. But he's known for always being an elite. And I'm me, so people are always comparing us. Chief Kaito. True. He must be very capable to become chief of the OSF at such a young age. It's hard having a brother that's good at everything. It makes it seem like you're bad at everything. I guess it's not like that for you. I mean, you're a Septentrion. The fact that you're just as good, if not better than your brother, is known among both the military and civilians. Regardless of what the military or civilians think of me, I'm no match for my brother. In a lot of ways. Huh? So, you wanted to know about me. What exactly did you have in mind? Yeah, right. Uh... What are your hobbies? <laughs> this is like an old-fashioned arranged marriage. Well, my hobby is exercising. Despite my looks, I enjoy honing my body. I created my own program a long time ago, and I exercise every day. Wow, exercise. He doesn't look like he works out. He's skinny and small. Did you just think he doesn't look like he works out? What? No, I didn't. Please be honest. I won't be angry. Uh... Yeah, I did think that. I didn't know you could read minds as well as teleport. It was written all over your face. You're not very good at lying. 
good to know. Well, I understand why you would think that. It is very difficult for me to build muscle. However, by continuing, I am seeing gradual results. It is true that persistence pays off. You're a hard worker. Yes, but I enjoy exercising too. The more work you put into your muscles, the more results you will see. You should try working out. From the looks of you, I think you'd see good results. If you follow the training program I created, you'll be ripped in six months. Huh? Ripped? Tell me if there's an area you would like to train. If you want washboard abs or shoulders like melons. Melons? I don't want to get that big. Uh, I'll let you know later. Come to me anytime. This is very nice. This is very nice. Gemma! Want to go into town with me if you're free? Is something going on? We talked about checking out trends, remember? I looked up a lot of interesting places. Oh, that. Okay, I did promise you after all. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find something you like. I hope so. <sighs> Are you all right? Give me a little time to gather my thoughts. That was a lot to take in. I dragged him all over the place to show him the latest trends. But maybe I went a little overboard. Let's see. We've checked out all the new trendy spots. Was there one that caught your interest? What was that last one? I got mobbed by a herd of giant cats inside a room. Ah, the VR Cat Cafe. That was pretty crazy. It's apparently very popular with girls for their soothing effects. That was supposed to be soothing? Do youngsters these days find being buried in giant cats soothing? It was more like a nightmare. And before that one, we were trapped inside a tiny room and forced to do confusing puzzles. Right, the escape room. I thought that was pretty fun solving the riddles with vision. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, at least. Which means you didn't. Sorry, I should have researched better. No, I'm sorry to be complaining so much. It's not your fault. I just don't know how to enjoy them. I had no idea that amusement had changed so much. This is much different from the era I'm familiar with. To be honest, I can't keep up. I see. I'm sorry. Maybe we can grab something to eat to salvage the day. All right, but what to eat? I don't really eat here that often. They have a lot of different kinds of dishes here. What do you usually like to eat? Hmm. I'm not really very particular about my food. I guess I like gyoza if I had to choose. Gyoza? Oh, they have some interesting looking gyoza here. A new and popular dish the chef recommends. Not so. I don't really have a good feeling about it, but we came here to check out what's trending among the young people after all. You don't need to force yourself. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Let's do what we came here to do. Thank you for waiting. Here's our restaurant's special variety gyoza platter. Please use any combination of these ten sauces. Enjoy! What, what is this? 
Green, yellow, red, black. Are these supposed to be gyoza? <laughs> uh, seems like these are the restaurant's original gyoza. Apparently, they all have different fillings. Their shapes are just as strange as their colors. I see a round one, a square one, and this one has spikes. Is this what gyozas have come to in this day and age? I can't believe how much the food I once knew has changed. Hmm? Well, they look weird, but they actually taste really good. Why don't you try one? Eat this? I'm not thrilled about it, but I can't stand here and waste food. All right. Hmm. You're right. This doesn't taste bad. It's not what I'm familiar with, but it's interesting. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, they look weird, but you can't know until you eat them. Maybe I was too wary because they seem strange. They're pretty delicious. If you can appreciate these, that means you learned how to enjoy one of the latest food trends. Hmm. Just because these gyozas happen to taste good doesn't mean I've learned to adapt to this age. I think your ability to appreciate them is important. That you were able to get past the way they look. You may have a point. At the end of the day, people still enjoy the same types of things. Even if those things may have changed. Yeah, exactly. I may have failed choosing good spots for you today, but I had fun checking them out together. I wasn't able to enjoy the newest trends, but I did have fun walking around the city. I felt behind the times every time I experienced something new. Time may pass, but our true nature remains constant. Just that our perspectives may have changed. Mmm, that hit the spot. Thank you for the meal. You're finished eating already? You must have really liked those. This might be my new favorite food. I guess trying new things isn't so bad. Well, let's do this again sometime. That's fine with me, but please, no more of that cat cafe. I don't dislike cats, but it's unsettling when they're that large. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, we won't go there again. It seems part of it was a little too much for him, but I'm glad he ended up enjoying himself overall. I'm stating the obvious, but you're young. Well, I'm younger than you. I know I was young once too. I just can't really remember it. You should cherish this time while you have it. I think I'm beginning to learn who you are as a person. I feel like I've learned about you too. Are you sure? Oh, there you are. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. I hate killing time by myself. So you said you wanted to talk about Sugumi. Did something happen with her? Oh, nothing like that. I'm just a bit concerned. I mean, that girl is kind of difficult for most people. What do you mean, difficult? She doesn't talk a lot, unlike me. And it takes her time to warm up to other people. <laughs> yeah, she is pretty quiet. I've known Sugumi for quite a long time, and we get along just fine. I just worry whether she's getting along with everyone else. And now she's away from me in a new team. So I'm losing sleep worrying that she might be getting left out. We wouldn't do that. I'm sure she's getting along fine with everyone. Oh, 
Well, if Mr. Straight as an Arrow Yuito says it, I guess I can trust you. I kind of get the sense that he's making fun of me. She's not like me. She's a good girl. So you take care of her. I'm counting on you, seriously. Don't worry. You can count on me. Oh, that was kind of unexpected. I never saw him as the type to worry about other people. Sure, he's a joker, but he's actually pretty kind. That being said, I should probably ask him about it. Yeah, I think that might be best. Hey, Kagero, I have something I want to ask you. Is that okay? It's about my father, actually. Hmm? Yeah, what do you want to know? Well, you see, the world thinks Kasane killed him, and I saw Kasane holding a knife, but I still can't get myself to come to terms with it. Do you know what actually happened? Sorry, but I can't say anything. Maybe I will someday, but not now. Please, he was my father. Well then, let's say Kasane did do it. I'm sure she would have had a good, valid reason for doing so. Fine, but I want to know that reason. And then what? What are you gonna do? It's not something you can forgive just because you know why. Well, yeah, but... Let's just forget all that for now. Why don't we talk about something nicer? Something nicer? He's just trying to change the subject. But I know he knows something. Anyway, let me be straight. Are there any girls in the OSF you like? Anyone that you've had your eye on? What? Where did that come from? Don't be shy. Tell old Kagero how you really feel. Your childhood friend Hanabi, or the cool Kasane. Are you all about a cute face? Or could it be the magnanimous Kyoka? Huh? No, I mean, I never... Um, I guess I never really thought about it. Okay, hold up. So you're serious? You're not just being shy? Life can be really boring without a little desire, kid. What about you? You did seem pretty interested in Sugumi. D -d don't be an idiot! I don't think of Sugumi like that. She and I are best friends. We understand each other. What we have is a connection of the souls. It's deeper than just a man and a woman. So you're almost like family. I understand that kind of thing better than talking about what my type is. <sighs> you really are lame and boring. If you don't loosen up, you might just end up suffocating yourself. Well, I've never really had any problems before. Alright, I got it. Sir Kagero will teach you how to have some real fun. Uh, no, I'm fine. I am a very strict teacher. It's probably best you bring an energy drink next time we meet. See ya! But I said I didn't want to. And right when I was beginning to think he might take things seriously, turns out he really is just a joker. she even thinking? Ever since I met her, she's been hard to figure out. It's also weird that she looks like the person who saved me when I was young. Even talking to her face to face, it kind of feels like we're not on the same page. But she doesn't seem like she'd kill someone for no reason. I can't be sure, but I feel like she wouldn't. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, then I just have to figure out the truth on my own.
This is very nice. 